Well, hello everybody, Vicky here. As you saw from the title, this is 9 and 10 of my 100 makes. Now what I've done is, is I've cut open some soft drink cans, aluminium. Now when you're cutting them, you do need to be very careful when you're getting the top and the bottom off. I wore a pair of gardening gloves. Just make sure that you do that. Now, before I put them through the big shot, they are a little bit sharp. Um, but I didn't get any cuts from them and I'm pretty clumsy. So I'm just showing you a few of them going through and they cut beautifully. They really do. I actually think they cut better than paper. So I've got a couple of Tim Holtz dies on the go there. That's one of his um, background. I'm not sure what he calls it. Um, and now I'm just, because you don't need to watch me <laughs> die cut all these, I've edited this pretty heavily but you'll get the idea of what I'm doing. So I'm just giving you an idea of some of the shapes that I have cut out. Um, had a lot of fun doing it. Like I said, it was really quite easy to get it through. So now I'm just trying to sort a little bit and just give you a, a small snapshot of what's coming. And don't worry if you don't get a good look at things. I have got some photos at the end of this video that you'll be able to have a look at and you'll get a better idea of what I've done. So I'm just trying to sort it and get it into some sort of um, manageable pile or like together. So now we go into number 11, as I said, and it's the colouring. I'm using alcohol inks and you can see I'm just starting because I had the tweezers like a good girl. That lasted about a minute and a half. Now, these leaves have come up absolutely beautiful. I think they're quite stunning. They're thin, they're, they're pliable. You'd be able to stick them down. I think that they will be a handy addition for any project. And some of my projects that I've done now, my makes, are, I'm making things that I will be bringing back out later on to decorate or use what I'm doing. So I guess some of my 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 um, makes have been prep work, I guess you could say. That'd be one way to put it. Now I haven't left all the colouring in because as you saw, I went crazy with how many die cuts I did. But uh, it's all the same. It's just dunking dunking that you shape whatever it is into the ink and I've put three different color on colors on these leaves and like I said I'm really really pleased with how they turned out I did try and use an oxide on there but it it wouldn't stay on there it just rubbed off so that was that was fine I just wanted to see whether or not I could get sort of like a little bit of patina happening and I did use a blue on one of them that, that gave it, not this one, there's a blue here. But you'll see it when it comes up. So that's all the leaves and I'll just lift them up so you can have a good look at them. And I think they're very pretty, very pretty. And I, and I think they'll be a lovely addition to if, ephemera as I go forward with them. So that's those and I got them all up there for you to see and I didn't even drop them. So I'm just, just grabbing some different colours that that really please me, but some that I don't use that much because of the type of things I make. But I'm finding that I've got colours here. I've got more than what I ever thought I did. So I just tried to mix them up a little bit instead of using the same couple all the time. I've been experimenting and being brave with different colours. And that's what this 100 make is all about. For me, I, I've noticed that a lot of ladies have, are very well organised and smarter than me. Um, so they're doing a hundred, like a hundred days of doodles or a hundred day of whatever they're doing. And it's like a theme. I kind of didn't think of that. I'm just trying to use up or not so much use up, but to explore and have fun with the things that I've got here. And I am so glad. It's given me, sort of given my head permission to let you see the simplicity of what I'm doing. 
because I don't know enough to do anything more complicated. And I'm hoping by doing this and acquainting myself with, with all these different stock items that I have in my room, um, it, it will pay out as I go forward in my journey and I will be brave enough to try different things. So here I am just dabbing a little bit of that blue here and there on them. I didn't want it just to land wherever. I wanted to be able to pick which spots I'd have it on. So that's why I'm just dabbing it on uh, with, the, with the finger. And you do have to be quick because it, they are alcohol inks and they dry very, very quickly. So I'm just going to figure out how to lift this up without dropping a lot of them for you to get a, a fairly good look at, at these as well. You think I would have put it on something a little bit firmer than a paper towel. Now that one with the diamonds in it, that is just amazing the way that came out. And I have stamped on these as well. I forgot to tell you. So here's all the pictures of my work, apart from forgetting to tell you that I have stamped on them, I am really pleased with them. So just as we go through the final two, I'll say bye for now, be kind to you and the person standing next to you. And those butterflies, I did, Im I did um, emboss them as well. So take care, everybody. Bye for now.